Okay, so this is just going to be a short tutorial on how I, s I basically do baking um, from Blender to ZBrush to Marmoset for bake. So the simple approach that I do anyway is that I make a mid poly and the mid poly, it can have mismatched edges. It doesn't have to be perfect, but generally you want to keep your edges with a decent poly uh, polygon count on its segments. Um, that just means that when you are in ZBrush and you do your Dynamesh, it keeps all of the forms over the edges. So the secondary thing that I do as well is I UV each sharp edge. So I've marked all the edges as sharp using a sharpen in hard ops. And then I UV them. Um, this is just so that all these edges are correct. I can just Zen and wrap just to show you. Um, I also use um, yeah Zen UV to do all my UV stuff because it definitely does a way better job than all this other stuff. So I've got edges here that are marked weirdly, so I'm going to unmark that and then just do it again, just make sure. Yep. Um, generally, I want to keep all of these little islands straight um, it just saves space in the uv islands obviously these guys are gonna take up a lot of the room anyway but that's what i use pack master just a pack heuristic i missed one but i'm being quite anal with this right now i don't need to do this but i will do it so those are my UVs. Okay, so my UVs are done pretty much for both my low poly and my high poly. Um, and you need the UVs for high poly to do the Dynamesh thing that I'm going to show. So with this now, I can then add a triangulate. I'm going to set this to five because I want it to be quads, which just means it keeps all of these segments on spherical or cylindrical divisions like in a nice amount so that they divide better when they're using the dynamic subdiv and we're just going to export this so export fbx we'll call it the mid poly fbx and then we'll put this down to four and that'll be my low poly so um, you can obviously remove segments where they're not needed you know actually make it game ready as you would doesn't matter too much for me because I want to keep as many divisions as I can, but you just do that basically. You go through, you remove all the loops, cylinders, and edges. Make sure it's not too crazy, you know. Um, it's pretty simple. You just go through, you do this kind of thing, you know. Edge, uh, select, sorry. Select loops, edge loops, and control X to remove said edge. And then you export. So with that done, we go to ZBrush and we don't open the light box. We go to import and we import our mid poly. With our mid poly in here, we literally just press shift H, uh, shift F to go to polyframe. And in the polyframe, we go to polygroups auto groups with UV and then we can press D yes and we can crease polygroups which you find under geometry crease crease PG that just keeps the smoothness much smoother so you can have lower divisions and this will fix those problems with the smoothing let me do Dynamesh so we just do the normal Dynamesh here and it works pretty well there are ways around that if it doesn't work by, for example, turning off the circle here, turning up the resolution, clicking Dynamesh again. This is the standard Dynamesh. I'm just using the one that's in my little customization thing. Um, it's under Subtool, I think. No, it's not. It's under Geometry. Uh, Dynamesh. You see here. You turn the circle off and you can adjust the resolution to get the resolution you need. If you're still getting faceting because of the polygroups, the good thing is you can go to Polish by Features with that circle off. 
and I'll smooth all of the faces that aren't on the same poly group. And then when you go to polish by crisp edges, you get these nice edges going on here. So sub tool, I'm going to just rename this high. So generally you would export it without the, the suffix there to begin with for ZBrush because you can use um, Subtool Master and you can use rename here and then you can add a suffix and just add underscore high and it'll add it to all of your subtools which speeds up everything much much quicker. So that's that done 1.35 mil. I'm going to use FBX so even though it's an OBJ I'm going to get rid of that. QPy FBX FBX 2020, all, and we're going to use, not my app, we're going to use Max, because that's the orientation that Blender uses as well, I believe. This will take a second. OBJ is way quicker, but it has issues with certain, to do with, uh, certain things to do with mesh names and object group names. So let me go to Marmoset. So we're in Marmoset. Got a cube low in here. It's broken because um, I've uh, already baked. So I'm going to create a new bake group. And we're going to use the quick loader, cube high, low poly. And then we can bake. So just double check, cube high is in here. Press H, turn off the low. We can have a look at the high poly. That's all good. Look at the low poly. It's all good apart from obviously the maps that are there. We just hit bake. So we'll call it bake. Uh, we want to do AO as well. Just to fix that problem. And as you can see, nice. So say for instance we had some stuff going on, on here on our high poly. So you know we had um if I just do a drag dot and use some alphas, you know, stuff like this going on, you know, maybe not that intense, not that unintense. Yep. You know, like shapes going on on the surface, you get tangent errors or, you know, weird things going on where projection isn't aligning up very well. Um, you can adjust the cage to fix that problem and basically the way that you would do that is by using skew skew mats so this will be done in a second and i'll show you that quickly and that's how you approach flat detail that's baked over an edge you know or you know rails and stuff like that so just reload the high poly Bake again. So you see these here. So say for instance this wasn't aligning very well, you'd go into your low poly cage, make sure your cage is aligning properly with the minimum offset. And then we could paint a skew. And we move it over and we paint. Even though that broke just then, let's do that again. And you would paint where the skew is, and you see that aligns much better. And that would be pretty much it to get your nice 